Hello everyone, this is Ivo, and today we will be painting a crossover between Elden Ring and Berserk, two of the best franchises of their own mediums that actually feel of the same world. For that, first we will do the thumbnail and the line art on the computer. Then we will print it and render it with pencils traditionally, and lastly we will add the colors digitally. Okay, so the backstory for this is pretty simple. Elden Ring is really one of the best games ever made, and if you didn't know, Berserk by Kentaro Miura was a big influence for Hidetaka Miyazaki, the director of Elden Ring and the Souls games, which is why I think they really fit together, like they are from the same world. So on the front of the drawing we have Guts, the Black Swordsman from Berserk, and on the back we have Malenia, Blade of Michaela, maybe the hardest boss in the game. I can only imagine what an actual fight between these two would be like. So after deciding on the composition, I use a combination of many tools to do the drawing, including the Wacom Intuos M, Stiddler mechanical pencils, a blending stump, and some toilet paper also for the blending. And for the composition and the poses, this time I use myself as reference and I also use this figure of gods for the details. And for Malenia, she wasn't that difficult I think, I was mostly worried about the helmet and making it look good since that is her most important feature. So I used some references of wings for it and some 3D models. Also, I didn't want them to be just characters floating there without background, so I added some rock structures and a ground texture to give it more context.
So this is the second drawing I make that is following a certain pattern of doing my drawings half traditional and half digital. The first one being Jinx. There is just something about my drawing style that I think I lose when I am 100% digital. But this way I can maintain my traditional drawing art print and still add the colors anyway, which is awesome. This is important to me because one of my goals in art is for people to one day just see my drawings and instantly recognize my style. I don't know how, but to some people developing a style comes really easy and natural. But to me, this has been one of the hardest parts of my journey. Like, how much anime influence do I let bleed into my drawings, and how much realism? Are static poses better for me, or action poses? I want to have backgrounds for more context and to fill up the drawing, but I don't want them to take away protagonism. I am definitely an overthinker, let me know if you can relate. So the way I solved my problem was to do a lot of experimenting, with many techniques and drawing styles, like watercolor, copics, color pencils, in anime style, in realism, and cartoon. So basically I was throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, which I recommend if you're an overthinker like me. And it really works, because now I really like where my art is going and I can't wait to do more. If you're interested in a print, you can find them at my print store at Imprint. Thank you so much for watching, I really had a lot of fun with this drawing. The design of Gods has always been amazing, and the design of Malenia has become one of my recent favorites in dark fantasy. If you have any suggestions for future fan art in my art style, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, you think you got some value from it, please don't forget to like it and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Peace.